Friday afternoon, I've just got back home from work a bit early and I've just come out in the garden for a quick look as Storm Eunice is absolutely ripping through the place. Now, here in North Lincolnshire, you can probably hear the sound of the wind through the trees. The wind is absolutely savage, but we've had it nowhere near as bad as the people down south. But I just want to show you around the garden quickly so you can see the effects that this wind has on the plants, especially the bamboos, they're nearly bent over touching the floor. So let's just have a quick walk around. Heading through then, believe it or not, the winds have actually calmed down for a minute. These are the tree ferns, they're usually in a sheltered spot, but because the wind is coming from the west today, it's basically the opposite direction to what the garden's protected from, and these are getting absolutely battered. They'll get some browning on the fronds like that, but they'll put new ones out in May, so it isn't the end of the world. But as we head through into the main jungle clearing area, you get an idea of just how strong that wind is. I know it's not scientific, but going off the weather app, we've had gusts over 70 mile an hour, getting close to 80. It really is strong wind, and I know we haven't had it as bad as other people down south have, but even so, it's the strongest wind this garden has seen since I've been here for sure. Trachycarpus getting thrown around today. Those leaves, they're not really designed for this kind of wind, but it'll push out new ones, and they always can look tatty anyway, so you sort of forgive it really. Down here, the Musa Baju. As you can see that is already a brown mess for winter. I'll leave the old leaves on them now to help protect that pseudo stem. But again, if this happened in summer, those leaves will be completely ripped up. Luckily it's happening in winter. But Jesus Christ, feel that. That wind is really strong. And if those trees were the other side of me, I wouldn't be out here now at all. So head down to the sort of in construction end of the garden. You can see just how much these bamboos are getting thrown around. The wind is absolutely savage. Those ones there are nearly horizontal. And up there, that bird feeder, that did have some food in it. No more. So these trees and plants come from all over the world, but this is what we subject them to in winter. There wasn't really a point to this video but I just thought, in the summer evenings, this is something to look back on. When we've got relaxing, sunny, warm evenings, this is the other end of the scale. This is what these plants have to put up with in our gardens. So that wind is absolutely savage. Here, we're quite close to the open countryside, and that wind just absolutely just soars through the garden. And this is one of the reasons why I put in trees like this eucalyptus. I've got some more at the other end of the garden to help slow these kind of winds down. So if there's one practical take home from this video, if you've got a long garden and it's big enough, it really is worth planting some shrubs, some fast growing trees to hopefully help break down the winds and prevent it absolutely flying through the garden like this. Luckily the Gunnera, a lot of the big leaf plants, they're dormant for winter, although some of the leaves covering them are blown away. So I'll have to have a quick look around the garden before it gets cold again. But I suppose in a lot of respects we're lucky that this wind isn't coming from the other direction and cold easterly wind and other beasts in the east because it would be absolutely brutal but just look up there you can hear the wind fighting through there it really is so strong here now the fence panels are starting to wobble so i hope all your gardens are okay and i hope you haven't had too much damage but for now i'm off in I just wanted to do a quick video, no production value to this one. Just a quick look at the garden as a reminder what it went through today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.